Buongiorno to everybody. This is Gabriel Del Moro and the chef patron of Del Moro's Fresh Master Go. In this video we want to share with you the secrets of the nature and the humidity of our products. So we will go and see where our fresh tomatoes are grown and uh, you will see also how I will transform this beautiful amazing product into a special spaghetti pomodoro. Stay tuned! Hello to everybody, this is Gabriele Del Moro, I'm the owner of Del Moro's Fresh Pasta To Go. And this is one of the places where we buy our veggies, especially tomatoes and zucchini and all what this company is producing. So from this place, which is Cavallino, close to Jesolo, still in the area of Venice, very close to the Lagoon of Venice that we will show you later where it is, we buy our products, genuine products, that uh, are grown here and uh, we take it into Venice where we are our main store and uh, we transform it into sauces, our sauces. I'm very proud to introduce the owner of uh, this place, he's a farmer, Mr. Luciano, which is here, he's uh, coming to us uh, saying uh, hello to everybody. Hello. Buongiorno, Buongiorno. Luciano. Buongiorno. Eh, prego. Eh, hey, io sono Luciano Scarpa dell'azienda agricola Fratelli Scarpa. Noi produciamo ortaggi di qualità soprattutto e di stagione. Produciamo il pomodoro, il peperone, i zucchini nella stagione estiva. Nella stagione invernale i radichi, gli spinaci e quelle cose. Da quante generazioni avete Ma in mano storica e C'è un'azienda una che è sempre stata, che ha sempre fatto questo lavoro da mio padre, mio nonno, i miei avi hanno sempre lavorato e abbiamo sempre portato avanti in maniera da poter produrre e da farsi conoscere i nostri prodotti che ormai sono anche conosciuti certo. eh, per la qualità e per la bontà e il gusto che hanno. Being farmers is very hard, you know, and uh, this gentleman here, Mr. Luciano, since generations he's waking up from 1 a.m. every day trying to collect all the products he makes and to transport it everywhere in the big markets. So I have a lot of respect for the job this gentleman and all his family and the nearby families are doing because we are providing Venice and not only Venice, we have a fresh and genuine products and I'm honored to buy products from this gentleman because I know that what we will serve it to our people is really genuine, is really fresh. And uh, considering that our techniques in cooking are very simple, like my grandmother did, this combination of farmery, really, close to the original, like many generations ago, and uh, our easy techniques this combination is a successful one because people are looking for something genuine, fresh and good, like my grandmother did. So this is why I'm here and this is why I want to introduce you, Mr. Luciano, with this company, with the hope you understand where our company is going, going back to the future. Queste sono le sette, avete la possibilità di vedere come lavoriamo, come sono, qual è il sesto di impianto, serie che servono soprattutto a contenere le diversità atmosferiche e anche perché gli uccelli attaccano le nostre culture, insomma. Abbiamo messo le reti laterali tutto attorno in maniera che gli insetti non entrino e non facciano danni al prodotto. You can see that the tomatoes now are green because they just finished the season, they, yesterday they cut all the red ones ready to be sold and uh, to be transformed into salads or tomato sauce. This is the place where Mr. Luciano is growing the, the peppers and uh, as you can see there are different colors 
it doesn't mean that uh, the peppers are different. It's just the maturity of the fruit which is different. When it's uh, green, it's young, middle, yellow, and red is mature, ready to be taken from the plant and to be sold. So when at the supermarket you see three different colors of uh, peppers, it means that it's just a, a different maturity of the fruit, but the fruit itself is the same. Starting from green, yellow, and red. This is the lagoon of Venice. This is the place where uh, everything started, where the history of Venice started after the barbarian invasions. In the 5th century, the Attila and the Hans were invading the north of Italy and the population living over there on the coast were a settlement of Romans. They moved to the islands to escape from the attacks of the barbarians and they established the new community on the islands of Venice. And as you can see, this is what literally they found when they were escaping from the mainland. And they built Venice exactly from what you can see here, that is nothing. So the history of Venice, the beautiful palaces you see on the Grand Canal, they were all built on this, on nothing. And uh, it's interesting when I was talking to Mr. Luciano that he was explaining me how his father was transporting the fruits and the veggies from his farm to Venice, to the market of Venice. Of course, we didn't have uh, machines, uh, we didn't have uh, engine boats, and the only way to transport the goods from here to the market of Rialto in Venice was uh, rowing a big boat. But uh, Mr. Luciano can uh, tell us exactly the geography of this place and uh, how his father started this business transporting all the goods from here to the market of Rialto. Come vedete, questo è un meraviglioso scorcio di laguna. Qui in questa parte abbiamo l'isola della Falconera, qui davanti vediamo l'io maggiore. Queste sono le mesole, l'io piccolo e le isole tre portine più avanti. Questa è la nostra porta d'acqua. Una volta anticamente Qui avevamo una caorlina che serviva a portare i nostri prodotti al mercato ortofrutticolo di Venezia, a Rialto. Partivano al pomeriggio, come oggi ad esempio, ed arrivavano a, a Rialto domani mattina, presto. Portavano i prodotti freschi, andavano rigorosamente a remi, perché non avevano i motori, e un po' a vela che era più bravo anche. E questo era era come si commercializzava il prodotto nostro una volta, erano prodotti molto apprezzati anche dalla città di Venezia. So, I think uh, it's a time because I feel a little bit hungry and uh, looking at the products of Mr. Luciano, of course, is a, a good invite for me to have the pleasure to cook uh, something simple but uh, which is very popular all over the world. A typical spaghetti pomodoro with basilico and uh, I think this is the right place. And I have uh, the pleasure and the honor to cook it right here, open space, uh, and uh, I can breathe, I can touch uh, nature, which will inspire me to create this simple but really good plate that we serve in our stores all over the world. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, I will help you to get a little bit hungry too. And uh, with the help of uh, Luciano, that is providing me all these great uh, uh, products and the uh, location, we try to see what comes out. See you then. So, we are uh, ready to enjoy the products that Mr. Luciano is uh, providing us uh, every day to our kitchens. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, the basic ingredients. It's the water to boil our fresh pasta, which is made with uh, semolina flour, just a little bit of salt, and uh, 
of course, the main product, which is uh, Chamo's main product, is the red tomato sauce, which is made for making great Pomodoro spaghetti that uh, we are going to cook. So, it's very important uh, to know the basis and the points uh, to start. First of all, you have to boil the water, of course, for the fresh pasta. The water, after is boiling, you add uh, the salt, not before. This is a secret, because if not, uh, otherwise you will never see the water boiling. Then uh, we will pass on the next step, which is the cutting of the tomatoes, tomatoes and uh, preparing a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, which will give the flavor to the tomato sauce. As a final step, we will take the pasta out of the water and we will combine it together with the sauce, preparing and mixing it and getting ready to eat. So, check my steps and try to see if you like what I'm doing because it's really the same of what you will taste in our locations everywhere in the world. So, we start cutting our fresh tomatoes and uh, you cut it in uh, small cubes. Be careful not to cut yourself uh, all the time you use the knife. Because if you use a good blend, uh, it uh, will be easy to be cut. Okay, this is uh, an easy step, especially if you have uh, such a fresh product like uh, you see here. I will smash a quarter of uh, garlic. I will just keep it uh, with uh, all its peel because uh, it will uh, keep all the flavors inside. Just be patient that they will uh, reach the right temperature when the oil and the garlic will uh, boil. As you can see, you know, here, you can uh, hear, you can smell, all this oil will get a little bit of a flavor of garlic, which, is, which will be an extra flavor to the tomato sauce. Of course, uh, the, the oil doesn't have to fry, otherwise uh, you will burn uh, the garlic. So high temperature but not too much to avoid to destroy the quarter of garlic with its perfect flavor. Okay, here we go. I start adding the tomato and we let it go for a, a little bit. I will uh, take uh, the quarter of garlic away because uh, it already gave its aroma and uh, its uh, flavor. So now the tomato sauce can uh, start uh, giving its uh, flavor out. The juices. I think it's a matter of uh, the quality of the product. If you have uh, a good uh, fresh product, the work is uh, half done. So the 
time of uh, preparing a tomato sauce from scratch with uh, fresh tomatoes is about uh, 20 minutes. So we don't have 20 minutes here to stay in front of the of the fire, but uh, of course uh, this is the procedure. I like to use uh, the tomatoes with uh, its peel outside because uh, I personally like it, but if you like you can pre-boil the tomatoes making a cross on the top and you will see that the peel will come out and after you can uh, cook it. But I personally like it with the peel outside. So just uh, be patient, you know, until uh, the tomatoes will uh, reach uh, the right uh, melting point. As you can see, you know, this uh, sauce is getting uh, started, the, the tomatoes are melting. The smell is very good, of course. I will adjust now with a little bit of uh, salt. So the quantity, as I say, is two, three persons which are near cutting four, five uh, fresh tomatoes of this uh, size. So the water is boiling. It means that uh, I can add uh, my salt. Okay. It's very important all the time to clean uh, your working area since uh, everybody will appreciate better what uh, you are doing. So the water is there with the salt and uh, we can start uh, adding our fresh pasta. How long uh, our fresh pasta has to be cooked? To be good. A couple of minutes, no longer than that, since it's uh, fresh. So fresh pasta doesn't need a long time of cooking. A couple of minutes. This is our pasta, our fresh pasta, which is, we don't use eggs to produce it. So it's even lighter. So as you can see, it's an easy procedure. Everybody can make it. Of course, we have in our location, our secret techniques and ingredients that uh, we cannot uh, explain but this is the base of uh, what uh, we do home. This is the perfect technique, the procedure when you want uh, to produce, uh, to cook uh, some uh, fresh tomato sauce. Remember that in Italy we like pasta al dente, not uh, soft. Soft pasta for us Italians is a uh, meaning of uh, no good quality. This is perfect al dente, salt enough, and uh, we are ready to mix this pasta together with the sauce we prepared before. Okay, now it's uh, the time to final cooking the tomato sauce. I like to add uh, our basil right now. So I love uh, the fresh leaves, which gives an extreme uh, aroma of uh, nature. For me, the basil is uh, the main ingredient uh, together with the tomatoes to give uh, this extra tomato sauce flavor. As you see, the beautiful red, the green of uh, the basil. And you see, you see, we have to adjust uh, with the salt. Yes, I like a little bit salty, so I will add a little bit more before uh, we land it uh, cooking. Two more minutes, 
we add the pasta, we mix it, and it will be ready to be served. It's boiling. So the, I use a little bit of uh, boiling water of the pasta because it has the amides. The amide will uh, help uh, to make a glue of the sauce to make it more consistent and uh, to give a uh, different aroma. Here we go. The tomato sauce spaghetti. This is what you can get uh, from our places, from our locations. Okay, here we go. You can start plating it. So if you want to see the final result, this is our tomato sauce in a box with fresh pasta and fresh tomatoes. So it's the end of this beautiful day, this amazing and honest farmer with uh, Mr. Luciano that I would like to thank him for what uh, he gave the chance today to enjoy and to prepare something important to show you what we do in our locations with simple ingredients. Simple people, simple ingredients and uh, an easy way to live and to enjoy life. Thank you Luciano, grazie Luciano. Grazie È stato un piacere, it was a pleasure to be in your guest. È stato un piacere anche mio. Oh, I've learned something from the kitchen today. Thanks Luciano, thanks to your farm, to your company, and thanks to you that you had the chance and you spent your time looking at us, living a day by Luciano at this farm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.